Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I thought I'd get started on some Valentine projects, so I thought I'd start off with this uh, little goodie bag from Lawn Fawn. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to use that goodie bag die, and I'm going to go ahead and take two pieces of plaid paper. These will be cut 6 inches by 12 inches. And that's going to allow me to lay, lay this die on here two times. So I'm going to lay it one way, then flip it around, and lay it on there again, and die cut it. And I'm using the Perfectly Plaid Collection Pack, and this is a 12 by 12 paper pack. So I'm going to go ahead and run that through the die. Now I wanted to show you here that by doing it one way and then flipping it around and cutting it the other way, you can get two from that one panel. So now this bag will be on the diagonal on the outside, and this one will be the straight plaid on the outside. So just think of that when you're putting the die, uh, running the die through the machine on those papers. Just think about which way you want the paper to go. So now I'm just taking my bone folder and pressing out those creases, and I'm just kind of gently pressing that one on the side there. I'm going to do that for both panels, and then I'm going to grab my score tape. This is the quarter inch. You want a nice, uh, very secure tape to put these bags together, because if you're going to be filling them with anything that has a little weight, you want to make sure that they hold together nicely. So I find the score tape works best for this kind of a project. So I'm going to go ahead and now at the bottom I'm going to put some tape and either, either bottom panel is fine, just one though. And I'm going to place enough tape on there to make sure it's nice and secure. And then I'm going to peel the backing off of that and I'm going to attach these two together. So I just want to make sure I line up that bottom panel with the bottom panel of the other one there. And by doing it now, I'm allowed to really press that into place. So now I'm going to just remove the tape from each of these little tabs on the side, lining up the sides of the bag and attaching these together. So I'm going to do that for all four sides here. And this makes the cutest little goodie bag. It's got these little gusseted sides. And I'm grabbing my bone folder and just pressing those tabs just to make sure they're pressed nice and secure all the way down. So you can see how cute that is. So now I'm going to do the same exact thing for this little blue and green one. And you can see the two are complete. So now I'm going to take the dies this is the Lacy Heart Stackable die set, and I'm grabbing that middle one. And then I'm going to take from the outside in stitched heart stackables, the middle one as well. So now from the Mermaid Lawn Fawn cardstock in the 100 pound weight, I'm going to die cut one of the little scalloped Lacy Hearts, and then I'm going to cut a second one from the Ballet Slippers. So we'll end up with two of those. And then for the other die, I'm going to take the Bristol Strathmore Smooth cardstock in the 100 pound weight, and I'm going to die cut two of those in the white. So I'm running those through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine, and now you can see we have everything cut. I'm just using my Tim Holtz pick tool to push out all those little excess pieces. And then you can see those will layer one on top of the other. Now from the Love Letters stamp set, I'm taking the Happy Valentine's Day. And I'm going to place this white heart on my Misty. And I'm going to use my Power Tape from Tombow. And I'm going to place a little bit on the Misty. And this is just going to hold this in place while I do my stamping. So now and it will remove easily afterwards, so don't worry about that. Now I'm going to grab the Happy Valentine's Day and I'm just centering it up towards the top of that heart. And then I'm going to stamp it with the freshly cut grass. This is a water-based dye ink from Lawn Fawn. And I'm just going to stamp that and it did require a couple of stampings. So I went ahead and inked it up again and stamped it a second time. 
And so now I'm just removing that from the Misty. And now for this pink one, I wanted to emboss this one. So I'm going to use, I made sure I cleaned the stamp off really well. And I'm using my Versamark watermark ink pad. And I'm going to stamp this. And since this is a pigment ink, I'm going to go ahead and take my rose gold Lawn Fawn embossing powder. And I'm going to emboss this. And you'll see that this embossing powder is just beautiful. It's, I don't know, it's got sort of a metallic-y rose gold tone to it. And you can see there as I emboss it how pretty it is. I just love it. So now I'm going to go ahead and position those little panels inside the scalloped hearts. So I'm going back to my Tombow glue, uh, glue tape here. And I'm going to go ahead and position those in place. And I will give you all the information for all the supplies down at the bottom, so be sure to check for that. So now I'm going to grab the Scotch foam mounting tape, and I'm just going to place some pieces of this all over the back of that little heart panel. And I do like to cut my uh, foam mounting tape into little tiny squares just because I think it goes a little bit further when I do that. And now I'm going to just position that in place and kind of reach inside there and just make sure that it's nice and secure. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing for the other one. So now those are all set and ready to be embellished. So I'm going to start off, again, taking the Misty. I'm going to take this little koala bear from I Love Eucalyptus. And I'm also going to take the flower and the little heart. And then from the Love Letter set, I'm going to be using that envelope and the cell phone. And then later on, that little heart uh, thought bubble there. So I'm going to grab the VersaFine Onyx Black ink pad, and I've positioned my stamps on my Misty, and I'm stamping on the Bristol Smooth Strathmore paper, and I'm going to ink those up and stamp those. Now I went ahead and stamped a second bear, and I need four of the little flowers, so I just place that little flower on an acrylic block and I'm going to do the same thing for this little heart because I need three of the little hearts all together and it's just easier to stamp them with the the acrylic block. So now I'm grabbing my coordinating dies and I'm going to go ahead and die cut out all of these little pieces. And what I want to do is tape them into place using the purple tape. So I'm taping that down and I'm going to run those through my Tim Holtz Sizzix Sidekick machine. And if you watch my videos, you know I love this little machine. I just, it's so great for all these little pieces. It makes it quick and easy to run everything through. So now I'm going to grab the beige and the dark oatmeal from my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens. And I'm going to start with the lightest color here. So I'm just applying that first, and then I'm coming in with the darker color, and I'm just putting that kind of around the edges a little bit, just kind of where I think it would be the darkest. And then I'm going to grab the water brush, and this is the Tim Holtz water brush with the detailer tip, and I'm going to just pull those two colors together. I'm using a bit of a circular motion here. On the little critters, I like to use a circular motion. It gives it a little bit more of a, the effect of like a fur. So I just kind of use a circular motion and pull those two colors together. And I did want the outer part of the ears to be just a little bit lighter. And now, before I go too much further, I'm going to take the light pink, and I'm going to put the pink on his cheeks. 
And then I can kind of blend in around that because now that I know where that is and I can kind of blend that pink a little bit as well. So I'll just continue that circular motion and blending those together. So if you like this little koala bear, check out the video I did last week. It's called Lawn Fawn Sending Hugs Card. And that also has this little koala bear and it's just a cute little Valentine card. So I'm going to continue blending this, but I was noticing here that my water brush was a little dry. I was a little afraid to uh, get it too wet. Um, in the in the face area there I didn't want it to do too much bleeding so once I got down to this lower part here I decided that I did need to get a little more water on that so I squeezed out you'll see here in a minute that I ended up squeezing the brush a little bit to get a little bit more water going there because you can see here it just didn't seem to be blending enough the thing you have to be careful with is just make sure you blot it off really well because sometimes the flow can get going a little bit more than you need. So I, you can see here that I'll blend and then I dab it off again and just try to get rid of some of that water. So now you can see it's blending much more easily here. So I wanted to take a little bit of the pale pink and do his little tummy area with a little bit of pink. And then I'm going to continue blending. So now for his little uh, ears, I'm going to do the pale pink all over. And then I'm going to grab that light pink and just do a little bit there at the bottom of the ear. And just blend those out. So he, this little guy is really easy to color in. Just a few colors. Really simple. So now I went ahead and did the other one the exact same way. And now I'm going to grab the black jelly roll pen. And I'm just going to darken his little nose there. And his mouth and his eyes just because I thought it got a little lightened up with all the coloring and everything so now I'm gonna grab the white jelly roll pen and I'm just gonna put a little dot of white in each of his eyes there and again I'll do the same thing for the other one so now for this little envelope I'm grabbing the embossing ink now this is the embossing ink right in this little pen, which is wonderful because I just want a little embossing ink right there on that heart. And then I'm going to go back to that rolled, rose gold embossing powder and I'm going to just sprinkle it on where I put the embossing ink. And if you get anywhere you didn't want it of the embossing powder, you can just take a little brush and brush that away. And then I'm heating up the heat gun before I put it to the paper and then I'm embossing. And just that little effect of that embossing powder I thought made a big difference. So now I wanted to grab kind of an apricot color. So I'm grabbing the flesh color and the light pink and I'm just gonna color this in. So I'm coloring the whole thing in with the flesh color. And this was just to kind of match some of the plaid on the paper that I'm using. And then I'm going to take that pink and I'm just going to kind of highlight some of the little areas around the edges. Just cleaning off the water brush there to make sure I don't contaminate it with the color I used previously. And blotting it off if I get too much ink. And then I'm just going to continue doing that on the rest of this envelope. And I don't know if you guys enjoy making these little party favors as much as I do, but I just love making them. I think they're fun. They're fun for little place settings. They're fun for parties. I really haven't met anyone yet who hasn't loved to get a little party favor. Um, so it's just fun to, to put these together 
and come up with different ways to use your stamps. This is a great way to use some of your scraps as well when you're thinking of making these little favor boxes. And Lawn Fawn has a lot of little party favor ideas. So you can see there that that added a lot to it, I think, that little embossed area. And now that's all set. So now I'm going to grab this little cell phone and I'm going to go ahead and I wanted to add a little color to it. So I'm using light gray and gray, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shadow around the edges here. And I'm going to blend that out. I'm not even sure that you can really see this here, but it just gives it a little bit of a shadow. And then for the screen portion, I'm going to use the light, the lighter gray, and then I'm going to come in with a little bit of the darker gray and just blend those out. I wanted the screen to be a little darker and I also wanted it to frame the little uh, thought bubble that we're going to put inside there, the little text message, I guess I should say. So I'm just going to kind of just bring the color in a little bit so that that center part stays white. And I'm also going to just shadow that little button just a little bit there. So now that one's all set as well. So now I'm going to grab these little flowers and I'm just going to color them in. And I'm not doing a lot here. I'm just going to show the, some of the coloring just so you can see the colors I used. So here I used the yellow. And I'm just going to highlight it a little bit with the bright yellow. And then I'm going back to the yellow to blend it out. And I'm going to do the same thing for all of these. I'm not going to use the water brush. I'm just going to use the lighter shade of in the same tone. So here I'm using light pink and wine red. Just laying down the light pink first. And certainly you don't need to do any shadowing on these. I mean, they're just cute and they're so tiny. But I did add a little bit of a highlight there. And then I'm just going to blend it out with the light pink again. And I'm not doing the centers on these because I'm going to be placing some Nouveau drops in the center just to add a little dimension. And I'll show you that shortly. So now with the light blue and the turquoise green, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do a little shadowing there and blending it out. So now for these three little hearts, these are going on the little blue and green plaid. So I'm using the May green and the turquoise green. And I'm just going to color two of them in the May green and one in the turquoise. Now, going back to the love letter set, you can see that that's that little uh, text bubble there. And I'm going to take the freshly cut grass ink pad again, and I'm going to stamp that right in the center there. And so now those two pieces there, I wanted to add a little sparkle to them. So I'm taking the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen, and this is in the crystal clear. And I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle to the envelope and the outside edges of that cell phone. And adding this sparkle adds a lot. And it, it's very quick and easy to do. And it, I think it adds a lot of interest to these little pieces. And then I'm also going to do each of the little flowers. Now for these little hearts, I'm going to grab the Nouveau Crystal Glaze. And I'm going to just place it on the center of each of these hearts. Now you could certainly do this once they're on the card. And I'm also going to take the Nouveau Crystal Drops in the Dandelion Yellow and place that in the center of each of these flowers. The only reason I'm doing it now is because I had to go run an errand and I thought I would get these done and let them dry while I was gone. So certainly... Uh, you could attach everything and then do that as a last uh, process. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and put a little slit here in the little koala's arms and down at his little feet there. 
And then I'm going to grab the, the glue tube again, and I'm going to place a little glue there on the back paw and the back foot, and maybe a little bit on the ear there, and then position this little cell phone so it looks more like he's holding it. So now um, what I want to do is for the second one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut the same exact way and place some glue on there. And then I'm going to put that little envelope in his arms or her arms. So there you can see how cute those are. So it's fun to play with this little bear because you can have him holding just about anything. So now I'm going to go ahead and take that foam mounting tape again. And here I am going to put enough on it just to make sure that it stays nice and secure and it doesn't flatten out at all. So I've got the strips of that on there. And now I'm just going to remove the backing and position those in place. And you can start to see how cute this is. I'm going to do the same thing here for the blue one. And now I'm just going to glue everything down. I'm going to go ahead and start with these little hearts. And I'm just using uh, glue. I'm not popping the hearts up, but you certainly could. And so all three of those are glued in place. And now for this one, I am going to pop up a couple of these little flowers. So I'm just going to position them up towards the right hand side of the heart here. And I want three in that upper right hand side. And I am going to pop up this one here with a little bit of foam mounting tape. And then I popped up this little one that I'm putting on her. Uh, on her head there, just a little flower. So you can see how cute that looks. And we've got some lots of dimension and sparkle. And those are all set. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.